Hello friend, in this video, you are about to learn that how to animate wet paint in Blender. So let's start this tutorial. Click on this geometry node workspace. Then press Shift A. Under Mesh, select Plane. Now press S and scale little bit like this. Then press Ctrl A and apply a scale. Now click on this new and you will get these two nodes. Now click on this add and under this point select here point distribute. Now put this node between these two nodes. Now you can see that plane is not showing because plane has been converted into points. Now click on this add under this geometry select join geometry. Now connect this node here. Now connect this geometry with this geometry. Now point and plane has been connected. Now click on this add under this point select here point instance. Now connect this node between these two nodes. Now press Shift A and add UV sphere and move little bit like this. And you can take any object whatever you want. Now select this plane and make sure you have object selected. Then click on the speaker tools and select sphere. You can also use collection if you have any collection. Now click on this add. Under this point, select here point scale. Now connect this node between this point distribute and point instant node. Now you can scale from here like this. Now you can see here density box which is generally used for vertex group or weight paint. So select this plane and switch to weight paint. Now click like this you can see nothing is happening. The reason is this we need to subdivide this plane. So select this plane then switch to edit mode. Now right click and click on this subdivide. Expand this subdivide option and change number of cuts something like 25. Now switch to wet paint mode. Now we can apply wet paint like this. When you apply wet paint, you can see vertex group under this object data properties that is group. When you put this name in this density box, you will get something like this. You can see where is red color, there is spheres. We want to animate this. So first remove this vertex group of this weight paint. Now also remove group from here. Now switch to object mode. Now switch to this layout workspace. Now press 7 for top view. Press shift A under the mesh select cube. Now click on this object properties and expand this viewport display. Under this display edge select here wire. Now we have to scale this cube equal to this plane. So scale something like this. Now press 1 for font view. Now press S then Z and just scale on Z axis like this. Now press Ctrl A and apply here scale. Now click on this modifier properties. Then click on this add modifier and select here dynamic paint. Now click on this tab and change type from canvas into brush. Now click on this brush. Under this source paint select here mesh volume and proximity. Now select this plane then click on this modifier properties 
then click on this add modifier and select here dynamic paint now keep this dynamic paint above geometry node then click on this icon and click on this add canvas under this surface type select here with now expand this output option then click on this plus icon now click on this object data properties and you can see that there is a vertex group now select this cube make sure you are at first keyframe then click on this move icon and just move this cube on x axis like this then press i and select here location now change keyframe value something like 200 now change location on x axis then press i and select here location now select this plane then switch to weight paint now press a space bar now you can see that this weight paint has been animated now switch to object mode then click on this geometry node select this plane then click on this object data properties then double click on this vertex group now press ctrl c then paste this name into density then press enter to confirm this now jump to first keyframe then press a space bar and you can see animation like this just scale this sphere something like this also increase this density now press a space bar and you can see this type of nice effect now first you have to save this project then click on this physics properties and expand this cache option then click on this bake dynamic paint when you render this animation make sure select this cube and disable this cube in rendering so click on this icon i hope you learned something from this video thanks for watching this video leave your comments and subscribe this channel